Welcome back to another NBA offseason video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Houston Rockets' impressive collection of talent and what's the next step for them, as well as a dark horse soother for Lori Markkinen that could be a huge move around the NBA. But starting things off with the Houston Rockets, all the talk recently is how good their young core is, especially with guys like Reed Shepard, who they got number three overall in this year's draft, and Cam Whitmore, who they got a steal on in last year's draft. Both of them were down dominating summer league. There were already in-season conversations about whether Jalen Green and Alperen Sengun could coexist as well because Alperen Sengun, he seemed like the face of the franchise, but then when he went out with the injury, they went on that double-digit winning streak where Jalen Green was taken over. Now there are even more questions with just the infiltration of talent that they have, and it's incredible to have a deep team, but when you're talking about a young core and maximizing it, you want these guys to develop, and if some of these guys want won't be able to be in the rotation, then they're not going to develop fully. So this is where the Houston Rockets start making moves where they could look to go all in on one of those big superstars. You have all this collection of core and depth, and that's fantastic. But if you can cash some of them in that maybe are not going to be as useful for your future, then you could go out and get a star because they made that trade with the Brooklyn Nets so they can have control of the Phoenix Suns picks. So if the Suns decide to tear things down, they could have an inside side edge at a guy like Kevin Durant or Devin Booker. There's also other superstars around the league that they're monitoring, but as far as the rotation, if you look at their starting lineup, that's where there's a couple more veteran type players that they got in free agency like Fred Van Vliet and Dylan Brooks. They're paying them big money for the next few years. And then you have Jalen Green and Alpern Shangun, the two best players on their team now, but it's going to be interesting to see if they can pick up where they left off last year where Jalen Green was carrying them and they just missed the play-in. Jabari Smith Smith Jr. is another promising player who they're banking on to take another leap. And then coming off the bench in next year per, in next year's projected rotation, Amen Thompson, the number four overall pick from last year, and Reed Shepard, the number three overall pick from this year. They are very high, and those are probably two untouchable players on their team. And they're going to have to see some room to develop at some point. They're, they're going to they're gonna have to play, be starters if things go how they're expecting it to go with them. So then you have to look at the starting lineup and say, if Reed Shepard and the, men and the men Thompson want to be the backcourt of the future, what's going to happen with guys such as Fred Van Vliet and Jalen Green? And then the guy like Cam Whitmore, who has been shining, he's not necessarily even a backup for any position. Jabari Smith's backup is likely going to be Tari Eason. Steven Adams is going to be coming off the bench. So Cam Whitmore is a guy that he might not get consistent rotational minutes all the time. And for a guy of his caliber, he could be very valuable, whether you're using him in the rotation or using them as a trade piece so the Rockets have a ton of good young players and it's going to be fascinating to see what happens with the guys that stay in Houston and develop and see what they can turn some guys into as far as a potential trade package. For the next part of this video, I'm going to be talking about the Oklahoma City Thunder as a potential landing spot for Laurie Markkinen and just stars as a whole. As according to Brett Siegel, a NBA reporter for Clutch Points, the Thunder could be starting some talks with the Utah Jazz for Laurie Markkinen to see what they're willing to offer for Laurie Markkinen. And this is very fascinating because the Thunder, they're talked about all the time because of how much draft capital they have while remaining one of the younger teams in the NBA and being the first seed in the Western Conference and championship contenders for years to come. Well, this offseason, they traded Josh Giddy for Alex Caruso. They used their cap space to get Isaiah Hartenstein and re-sign guys like Aaron Wiggins and Isaiah Joe. And all of this was done without mortgaging any of that future draft capital that Sam Presti has spent so much time building up. And now they could get Lori Markkinen. It could be someone else down the road, but I think it's just worth remembering that yes, they got Alex Caruso. Yes, they got Isaiah Hartenstein, but they still haven't even made that fully all-in move or they could have a couple fully all-in moves with all the draft capital they have so the OKC Thunder are always going to be a team to watch.